guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 9 of season 2 of A Regular at Magic High School. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm, it's still itches. Yeah, can we please still talk about this? Because, um... The fuck it mean? There's gotta be. Not only that, but Honoka is like hella special. I don't know because see the thing is now we're gonna have <laughs> the grandfather and what's her face after Honoka and Pixie and then maybe and but I still feel like somebody is still gonna use Pixie for the bad I mean mm, yes who knows there's so many unanswered questions and it's only episode nine and it's just like you want to know now but it's like no you gotta wait But Honoka will be okay, right? Should we at least get her to a hospital or something? Oh, here we go! <sighs> Good. Yeah, please. Don't need you to be back in the hospital. Yeah, Honoka? Mm, yeah, that too.
Like, did you... Mm. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, somewhat, but it seems like... I mean, because they are connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Just got practice. My child's gonna be so fucking useful in this season. Oh my god. How the hell do you explain this? I mean, dang, ain't it the weekend or something? God, they were ready for this. Mm. You're not going to be able to dodge that. Honestly, from that shock and that fall, you should really be dead. Oh. There's Leo. But what about Erica? I'm so glad he's doing good. Cause something tells me somebody's just gonna walk that up, pick them up, and never mind. They're gone, aren't they? Shit. I told you. Like, come on! 
So then what should you... You can't really follow it now. Excuse me. Well, uh, <laughs> how do we explain this? <laughs> Uh. Okay, good. Cause like, oh, I mean, you are you good looking when you get angry, but like, mm. Mm. yeah, because they use smoke. Use a smoke bomb, and then while everybody was trying to see, that's when they took them. Mm. Mm -hmm. So something possibly tells me the three that were taken, those parasites, they're probably going to be tested on. Of course, it's probably somewhere underground where no one can find them. I don't know. I don't trust Miss Cobra. I mean, she she's cute as a boo and emo. Like, I love her. I love her all black and everything. That's cute. And I love it. I love the aesthetic. But something about her does not seem right to me. <laughs> of course. Hmm. 
Well, here's hoping. Is it thunder outside? No, that's a car. Hmm? What's wrong? Lena. Mm. Damn. I mean, she was hella brutal with that. But why, though? Of course. No, because slowly but surely she's going to break down. Because mm -hmm. she's still a young girl now. And you are? Um. Say mm. so, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Of course. Right. <laughs> really right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Even Pixie, though? Hmm. I honestly don't think Lena is gonna like working with Tatsuya, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, God. Thank you for that fan service. I needed that today after the day I had... I don't know about Raymond. I like him, and I mean, I really like him mostly because of the fact is the little relationship him and Shizuku have, because they just cute. But, I don't know. He seems like that type of person who is like, I I'm on your side, but at the same time, I'm not on your side. Like, in the end, he's like, I'm not on anyone's side, but mine. I'm the only person I trust at the end of the day. And something about him just does not sit right with me. His aura, the way he was talking, I'm like, this dude, mm -mm. You like, I liked you in the beginning when we didn't know your name, but now I'm like, you see him a little suspicious. I feel bad for Lena and the ish that she has to do, especially killing all three of those parasites. And I feel like the... JD, no, I'm saying it wrong. JWDF that she's a part of is going to make her do things that she's gonna not really want to do. I feel like there's gonna be a moment where she is gonna break down. This is a little too much for her. And I mean, she's like, what? 16? 16, 17, maybe? I mean, that's a lot of burden on someone that age. And eventually she's gonna crumble and it's not gonna be good it's gonna be freaking bad I don't know but uh I, the Honoka pixie situation that's really interesting and especially because of the fact is it's the um the things that Tatsuya gave her and so I mean it's more meaningful and such but I really honestly cannot wait to see what else is in store for both pixie and Honoka themselves what trials, you know, best girl Miyuki is going to face. Because I feel like, you know, yes, this is starring Tatsuya at the end of the freaking day. And then his harem and his friends and it's like that. But I need best girl Miyuki to still be a person. Rather than being, you know, her brother's little sister that, you know, she's secretly in love with. It's like that. I need more of her. Season 1, the one, like, one of the many reasons why I like season 1 is because... Miyuki got to have that screen time. Not only because, you know, her VA is one of my personal favorite VAs. It's just, I got to know her more like a character. And so it feels like now she's being placed in the background as a supportive role. So she's not going to be that main role that she got in season one, which I really loved. So I don't know. I mean, we're only nine episodes in. I think maybe by the time we get to like episode 12 going into the second half, of this series maybe it might change my mind i'm not 100 percent sure but we ain't really gonna know until we get there but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode nine of season two at a regular of magic high school if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for episode 10 bye guys